What's up YouTube, this is Nightmare bringing you a video on how to open your NAT type on Black Ops 3 and your Xbox One. So we're going to start with, first you want to type in your address, so we'll just redo it. Okay, we'll do 192.168.200.1 forward slash, and then you click on that, and it should bring up your router page. Now everybody's is going to be different up here so you just need to look what that's the only thing you'll need to do that I cannot help you with is you'll have to look up your page on um, how you log into your router so whatever number you need um, call your ISP um, ask them some people do not have access to their router so some people may not be able to do this without your ISP so once you get here every router is different some will have the settings on the left side, some will have it at the top right here. But it's all basically the same. Every router is is almost exactly the same. So you want to look for network settings to start with. Then if you don't have NAT, mine has NAT, some doesn't have NAT. You click on that, but look for port forwarding. Every router will have port forwarding. So once you go to port forwarding, you want to click on it and you want to add new role. All right, um, we're just going to redo this. I won't save it on mine, but that way you guys can see what I'm doing. So under service name, you you want to add Call of Duty. And then WAN interface, you want to leave default. External start port, you want to add 3075. That's the port that we're going to need open. Then for the rest, you, you're going to want to put 3075. So for all four, you want to put 3075. It's going to automatically do two of them for you just because, you know, it just, that's just the, what it does. So for server IP address, it's going to have this number down here. And you're going to need the next two numbers um, for your server IP address. So the way you obtain those is I'm not going to show this step because obviously I don't want to show my IP on my Xbox. But I'll go slow. So under your Xbox there should be like a little gear symbol to the left side you want to scroll down it should be the fifth one the fifth symbol whenever you scroll down you click on it all settings once you get there you want to scroll down three it'll be account personalization and network you click on network go to network settings once you get to network settings you want to go to advanced settings it'll be one down on the left side once you get there, you want to make sure the green arrow is on the IP settings, which is, it should already be on there. And it should show your IP address, and it looks something similar like 192.168.200. And then your two numbers. So, um, and that'll be on the right side, by the way, guys. So you take that number, and you put it, you just basically put it in. Let's just say that's what it is. And then you want to change your protocol to UDP and then you click apply and then like I said I'm not gonna apply this because mine's already open um, but once you do that you'll be good guys it should say I open that type if it doesn't restart your call of duty and also turn off your console now if you restart your router sometimes it will reset your your stuff like your role so what you'll do is you'll have to delete your role you just click that um, delete button then you add a new role, and then you just repeat. You can watch my video anytime you guys need help, and hopefully this works for everyone. Now, like I said, every router is different. Some people will have to go under this DMZ setting, and to do the DMZ setting, you can try this. This is like a, you know, if all fails and you have nothing else to try, then you can type in your server um, address here from your Xbox and click apply now to deactivate it you would delete the whole thing and then you would apply it you know with nothing there and it will deactivate it now what DMZ does is it basically will throw all the internet through your Xbox this is only recommended for people that pretty much only game so if you only game you can do this it, it will really enhance like your performance but I use other things besides my Xbox so I don't do that I only have my port forwarding done for at the moment 
So please like and sub if this video helped you guys. If you'd like any additional information, I will be glad to help anyone that needs help to open their NAT type because I know it's frustrating. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.